Welcome to Maybe Useful Channel. Today I'm going to show you something uh, I have tried with my Raspberry Pi 5, which I ordered, pre-ordered long time ago and received yesterday. I tried something; uh, it worked straight away, uh, which is uh, remoting to the Raspberry Pi from the Windows machine without in do without installing anything on the Windows machine. But you have to install something on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, without further ado, let's start. Download the Raspberry Pi Major uh, from the uh, Raspberry Pi official website and then uh, install it and then go to Raspberry Pi device and uh, choose Raspberry Pi 5 and then choose the operating system. I'm going to choose the 64-bit uh, Raspberry Pi OS and then choose the uh, uh, source storage. Um, I'm using a 32 GB uh, micro SD card so I'm choosing that one. You, you could choose something else and then go to next and then I'm not going to do any customiz customization so I say no and then the, um, uh, it's the warning message I'm going to say yes and it's writing to the uh, micro SD card it, it's complete now unplug this uh, micro SD card and plug into the uh, Raspberry Pi 5 let's do that I have plugged in micro SD card into my Raspberry Pi 5. It's loading. Let's do a quick setup. English, that's fine. Username, I'm going to put admin. Going to connect to the internet, uh, Wi-Fi. So it's asking which uh, browser uh, you're going to use as a default. Uh, we have both uh, Chromium and the Firefox. I'm going to give a default one. And it's going to do the software up update. I will fast forward. Software update complete. Uh, let me go back. Uh, it's asking me to restart. Let's restart. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install NeoFetch to see the configuration of the Raspberry Pi 5. Open the uh, uh, command line. Uh, it is a terminal, and uh, and type sudo apt install. Neofetch. Enter and say yes. Okay, now type Neofetch. Okay, I can see the configuration now. Uh, Raspberry Pi 5 uh, model B and 8 GB uh, memory and uh, it is running uh, Debian uh, Linux 12 now I'm, I need to find out my IP address of this uh, Raspberry Pi device so for that type if config, config. yeah if config now you see that uh, 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 my my IP address is, is a wireless LAN 
it is my IP address is 192.168.0.27 just take note of that uh, and now uh, I'm going to install um, uh, something called XRDP for that sudo so this is the one enable rem remote desktop Windows remote desktop functionality sudo sudo apt install XRDP say yes after this I'm going to open the Windows uh, Windows 11 machine and uh, try the remote desktop now you go to the Windows machine and type remote desktop connection and type 192.168.0.27 and type your username and password of the Raspberry Pi device you set up so I'm straight in there's no problem with that and now I'm going to check some for I'm going to open some windows and see how it works it is quite it is working fine yeah it's, it's fine but I have some problems if someone can find the reason for that it will be really helpful and it, I would appreciate if you go here and open the any of this uh, browser, uh, either Chromium or Firefox, it is showing something like that. So it's, you can't see anything. It's, it's something to do with the resolution or something like that. It is it is not working neither of the browser view. Yeah. It's, so it's something something to do with the resolution, I guess. If someone can uh, shed some light it will be really helpful thank you for watching anyway um, if you like this video just give a thumbs up thank you bye